Hello, I am Maria and today I would like to give you my 10 breastfeeding tips, so let's start! To have a good lunch, what uh, your baby must do is take as much rest as possible. So what I do when I'm breastfeeding him is make sure that he has an open white mouth and then I point my nipple to his nose and then I slowly slide it to his mouth. So I make sure that he takes as much rest as possible. If he doesn't take as much rest as possible, you will end up with really sore nipples. So it's really important that you do that. Um, one of the two things as well why you will have sore nipples is because he has a tongue tight or a problem on his tongue. So if you think that your baby has a problem on his tongue, take him to your GP or your health visitor and they will help you about that. And the second thing why you will have a really sore nipples is because you have thrush. I had thrush at the beginning, so thrush is something that your body creates. And that area is really um, propense to uh, take to get thrush because it's really warm and it's wet so what I make what I do to um, avoid that is make sure that my bra will uh, dry so uh, changing my bra as many times as I can on a day like two or three times a day I will change my bra I will change my uh, butts as well like four or five times a day as many as I can so I make sure that that area is wet is, is dry, sorry. Um, yeah, and if you have thrush, what you have to do is go to the GP and they will send you a, a thrush treatment. So they will give you um, some cream for you, for the nipples, and some drops for your baby to give it to him. First position, the cradle. You will take your baby, put him onto your lap, and then put him on your breast. Second position, the rugby ball. You will take your baby under your arm like a rugby ball and then put him onto your breast. Third position will be the rugby ball with a nursing pillow. You will take your nursing pillow, put it behind you and then put your baby on top of it. using a pillow. You will take your nursing pillow, put it on your lap and then put your baby on top of it. And the last position will be the sideline bed. This position is really good especially for night time. You will lie down on your side on the bed with your baby next to you and then put your baby onto your breast. something that I would like to talk about. Um, when you're breastfeeding, at the beginning, your breast is going to hurt, obviously, because um, it has something inside, it has milk inside, so that you have an extra weight and your breast obviously is going to be engorged, so it's going to hurt at the beginning. Don't think that it's not. But what I recommend you is Keep on trying, don't give up. I know it's really difficult because you have to think about too many things like the latching, the position, the make sure that your baby is feeding, that it's getting away, all that stuff and it's like extra stress on you. Keep on doing it. If you go to any uh, breastfeeding support group and they tell you that your latch is good, just keep on doing it as you do because you're doing a great job. Sometimes you will get a blood milk that, or if it's worse, you will get mastitis, that is an infection. So if you get any of those, blood milk that or mastitis, don't worry about it, about it. it's not the end of the world. Because um, I get mastitis as well, um, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> my breast is gonna, I don't know, it's just gonna explode or something like that. But, 
don't worry about it, it's not the end of the world. You go to the GP, they will uh, give you some antibiotics to take and in a couple of days or a week, like too much, it will go away. But you have to do a couple of things to make sure that that infection or that blood meal that is going away. So what I've done, I uh, massage my breast every night and because I have quite a lot of milk at the beginning, I express myself so I, buy, I bought an electrical, pump, electrical um, pump and the breast, uh, I express myself a little bit on the night and I massage my breast so I, should, I, I used to go to the to the shower, he, um, have a hot shower and then that will be easier for me to massage my breast because it will like open up all that um, conducts and all that and it will be more easier for me to um, touch the breast and get all that milk out. So it's really important that when you breastfeeding you uh, drink any water or juice or whatever that you want to drink. Can be herbal teas, juice, water. So what I've done of what I keep doing um, to when I breastfeeding is I uh, bought these bottles of water, like sports bottles of water, or like you know these kids uh, bottles of water they sell in Sainsbury's or Tesco's, or you can find it even Amazon, quite cheap ones. So I will uh, have one of these bottles of water with myself all the time. So I will make sure and I don't forget get to have something to drink at the time that I was breastfeeding and when you don't breastfeed it's important to keep on drinking so I can take these bottles of water everywhere with me so I don't forget to drink plenty of water. Try to eat as healthy as possible when you're breastfeeding. Um, it's really good because everything that you eat and everything that you drink is going to go into your milk uh, your baby is going to drink that milk so it's really important that you have a varied, a varied diet so eat as much vegetables, fruit, meat mix up a little bit don't eat um, every day the same thing like try to mix up and avoid like really sweet things and like crisps and kind of like all the salty snacks and really sweet snacks try to avoid it because they're not really good for you and they're not really good for your baby yeah. in this tip everyone that is being a mom or was a mom they will give you this advice <laughs> try to sleep while your baby sleeps I know when you're a first mum, it's really difficult to do it because you want to like tidy up and try to make some food or try to do all the things but it's really important because if not, you're going to get really exhausted and it's really important that you sleep uh, when you're breastfeeding because when we sleep is the time that when we produce more milk so it's really important that you sleep. To watch uh, how for how long your baby is on the breast. Um, I know that if you are on demand, you have to like whenever he wants, he will um, breastfeed. But you have to watch it sometimes because um, my baby took it like a, it was a game. So he will stay when he was really little. He will stay on the breast like for really long. Like I'm talking like two or three hours straight, and I was like this is not possible, he cannot eat for three hours, like, come on, I know he's a baby, and he's a newborn, but, I don't know, something is, mm, I don't think, I don't feel that something is, like, right, so, I will, uh, what I will do is, one hour, I will decide that one hour will be enough, or one hour and a half, like, too much, so I will make sure in that hour or hour and a half my baby will be awake all the time. 
so he's uh, eating all the time so you don't get so exhausted you know I like two or three hours there with your baby and you're like oh, come on because it gets really really tiring every little they fall asleep so they fall asleep they wake up again they eat a little bit they, and like that and if you keep doing it for a long time they will take it like a game so make sure that if you decide it's an hour or an hour and a half make sure on the hour your baby will be fully awake so I will change his nappy or I will like undress him or put a little bit water on his face or on his head whatever I will tickle him I will do everything to make sure that he will be awake on that hour, on hour and a half. At the beginning, especially uh, on the first weeks, if you have a lot of milk, um, I would express, I would recommend to express. For example, when I have sinusitis, um, I'll express myself a little bit. You don't need to throw that milk if you don't want to, you can keep it. And for example, if someday you have to go to work or you have to do something, someone else can give that milk to your baby. So, if you have a lot of milk, if you produce a lot of milk, I recommend you to express because you need to get all that milk out so you don't get an infection or you don't get a mastitis. So, I will recommend it. really difficult like to relax and think on relaxing when you're breastfeeding and all that but you have to try because all the energy that you have you will send it to him so if you're stressed he will feel that you're stressed if you're nervous he will feel that you're nervous and he probably he will not latch that good that good so you have to try to relax it's a good uh, time to practice your pelvic floor so every time that I breastfeed in I try to practice my pelvic floor so it's a good, really good time to do that and as well um, what will help you to relax is as I say changing positions breastfeeding pillows or a nursing chair will be really good to, like, to help you be more comfortable and be more relaxed Enjoy it. Um, it's a really good time to bond with your baby and to try to know him better. So really, please do. I know at the beginning we'll be like, oh my god, this is like the end of the world. But keep on trying, as I say, I don't give up. And um, it's a beautiful time. Um, it will go so fast so please enjoy it as much as you can if you like this video please give it a thumb up if you want me to do another video about breastfeeding or about breastfeeding equipment like nursing pillows and electric palms and what i use to breastfeed please put it in the comments down below if you have any questions as well as well put it in the comments down below and i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you on my next one Thank you for watching. Bye.